All right, hello YouTube people. This is Ryan at Ryan's Journey. Coming at you with week five. So five weeks down, update. Um, it's a beautiful Wednesday. Rain seemed to stop and the sun's coming out, which is good. I have the day off today because I work Saturday. And uh, just me and the sun. I got the boy here today. So you might be able to see Rio in the background. He's excited. We're going to go take him to the movies for the first time to see Rio 2, the movie theaters, for the first time, uh, I don't know, in a week or two, whenever that comes out. He's excited. Um, all right, let's get right into numbers. Pull them up over here. So numbers, I got... Uh, so my first pre-op appointment was on November 18th, 2013. That was my highest weight ever recorded at 326 at my surgeon's office. Day of surgery, I got down to 294. Help to have clear liquids for a few days before um, get, get helping that 294 number. Um, this week, or excuse me, last week I was 262 was my weigh in last week, Tuesday morning. And this today, Tuesday morning, I am 259. So that is a weekly weight loss of only three pounds. Yeah. Which uh, it was about a, almost a pound less yesterday, but I don't count that. I'm counting my official weigh-ins on Tuesday morning, so we're going with that. And um, my um, total loss since the beginning of this journey is 67 pounds. Um, since surgery, it's 35 pounds. So still excited with the weight loss. Want to make a couple notes about the the numbers here. Um, one, this week I got back to the gym. I went to the gym three days a week. And um, I'm doing weights, a good amount of weights, and then and then the elliptical machine. Um, but the weights I'm doing are mostly lighter weight, but a lot of reps, more reps than I did before, like 12 to 20 reps of each, you know, three times, three or four times of light weights on, uh, you know, doing arms, a little bit of chest, um, a lot of shoulders. And um, some lat pull downs that does incorporate some stomach. I'm not doing sit ups yet. I'm kind of waiting until I feel I still have a the incision, you know, where it goes to the muscle where they pulled out the stomach. I still have a bit of soreness on occasion, so I, I don't want to push that. So that's kind of where I'm at. And I think, and I'm insanely sore. I had I work work out yesterday. Um, I worked out the day before, and uh, and I'm still really sore today. Maybe more sore today. So I think I'm dealing with that. Uh, whatever it is, lactic acid build up in my, my arms and shoulders, um, some of my legs. So uh, I think maybe that's where it's helping me retain some water because I feel pretty good. Um, so also the uh, last few days, maybe because I've been working out more, I've been a little more hungry. And, all right. I'm back. So, um, yeah, so I think that's what's going on a little bit with the muscle thing. I know Phil mentions that a lot in his videos about how, the days after he works out, he uh, retains a little more water. So that might be it. There's part of me that actually wants to slow the weight loss down. I know that sounds crazy, but there's part of me that wants to go through a phase where I like get to eat some good, some food, some quality foods, you know, some proteins. And um, there's part of me that wants to slow it down just a little bit. And I think naturally it already will. All right, sorry for the technical difficulty. Try having a, a little boy that's almost three running around the house while you're making a video, you'll understand. Anyway, uh, so doing the workouts, it's been going good, feeling stronger. Uh, I should give you, I think I should need to drink more protein after the workouts I'm finding as far as the soreness from some research I've done. So I'll be including that. Um, let's see, I do have a little, a few notes here. Um, so NSVs, still have a lot of customers coming in. Uh, say, that I see all the time that I've got relations with, like surprised, especially the ones I hadn't seen in a couple of months. Uh, I'm really surprised by my weight loss. So that's really cool. They've been really positive. Like, you know, most of them I say, hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm eating right. I'm sticking to a low carb, high protein. I'm, I'm exercising. Uh, I'm just sticking to that. I mean, that's a pretty believable story and, and mostly true. I mean, really. Um, also, uh, I had a one of my coworkers yesterday. I had to have. Okay, so one of the girls, one lady at work uh, was telling me that uh, she's like, Ryan, I just want you to know since you've, you've lost the weight and you've been healthier, your attitude's been great at work. And not just as far as, you know, your attitude's always pretty positive, but she said that you're more like willing to help us, like grab things or do things, or if we need something, you'll get up out of, you know, you're more quickly to get up out of the desk and come over and approve things for us. So 
um, anyway, I can't remember exactly how she worded it, but it was something like that, and it was really positive, and, uh, you know, I got to appreciate that and take that as a win. Um, food, food. So, I want to talk a little bit about the food, because, um, you know, that's a big part of what this deal is about. I, the last, I talked uh, briefly about the, the hard-boiled egg that kind of was a setback for me, feeling like um, my sleeve is still so swollen and tiny, I can't get nothing in, but... Last few days have been pretty good. You know, I've been able to get some things in, mostly proteins, real proteins like chicken, salmon, shrimp. Um, so I'm going to briefly talk about that. It the key I've noticed is, and it's something that Lauren put put on Facebook, posted on one of my or my YouTube video, I think, from last time. And Lauren Losing, I think's her name. Uh, she put it up there that either you need to make sure you're chewing slower. Um, chewing it up better or make sure it's moist and not eating too much. So something along those lines and that's exactly right. So that's the notes I put, chew up well, eat slow, and it helps if it's moist. And so that's something I've been sticking to and it's been a lot better. Uh, for example, a couple of lunches ago I came home and I had a half of a little piece of salmon that was pre-cooked and seasoned that I got from the, the, the deli at the grocery store and I was able to eat that. Um, I actually put just a little dabble of uh, light mayo and a little squirt of a vinaigrette, balsamic vinaigrette salad dressing um, and just kind of ate it with that to keep it moist and it tasted great. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why those flavors came to my mind that day, but uh, the flavor is a little bit different these days. You know, you, you want to try different things. You want to mix things with proteins. But so that was that was really cool. You know, I got full enough where I felt it, but I got to go back to work and, you know, it it. Uh, passed through just perfectly and and I was able to work and it held me over for several hours which was good um, one thing I've been doing at work is I've been keeping a protein shake in my refrigerator in the break room so if I get that little hunger urge in between meals I can just go in there and take a few swigs of that and it usually does does me it does me good so that's the little tip that I have if you guys need just convenient things um, keep a protein drink when you first go back to work in the fridge that you can just go back there and drink and um, get by on it. I'm sure we still have better snacks and things like that, but that's been something that's been helpful along the, at this point. Um, a couple of times for lunch, what I've done is I've just had shrimp. So I get the cooked shrimps from the, the fresh market in my grocery store, but I get the cooked ones. So I've had the, the shrimp. They're the cooked shrimp, but they're fresh. You get them on ice. I got these a few weeks ago and I decided I don't, I chewed one up and I said, no, I'm not ready for this. So I spit it out and just froze them. But lately I've been getting them out like for uh, five or six at a time or four to six at a time depending on how I'm feeling in my stomach but I'm able to eat that on my lunch and all I do is I put them in a bowl a little bit of I can't believe it's not butter spray and uh, and a little salt and pepper and I, I heat them up just about not where they're real hot but just to room temperature kind of thaw them out and then um, I dip them in just a little bit of cocktail sauce to give it some little extra flavor but and four or five of those and I'm pretty full and I don't need anything else for my lunch, which is really cool. And that's got some protein in it. Um, you know, it's definitely low carb. So that's one thing, thing that's kind of neat I've been doing is, is having shrimp. I think it'll be more of like an in-between meal snack um, in the future. That's kind of what I did last night, like an after dinner snack. But uh, another thing I did that was pretty neat is I got a chicken, a whole, you know, those whole chickens that are rotisserie at the grocery store you can get. Um, I was at the store uh, for something else and the guy happened to be coming out with them hot, just that he said, I, just, I said, are those fresh? He said, yeah, I just cooked them. So I was like, oh, I got to get one. So I got one, I brought it home, and I brought it home more for the wife, and I wasn't sure how much a chicken I can eat at, the, at that point, and that's been four days ago. But as long as I do those those rules I said, is chew it up slow, try to have it, make sure it's moist. I noticed that the moister kind of uh, dark meat went a little better than the white, it's drier. But either way, it still worked out fine, and I was able to eat just a little bit at a time. So that's great protein of that chicken. Um, and I'm able to eat that as a meal and I've just been eating on that for four days or so just off and on either for lunch or for dinner um, it's been neat um, so that's really a good idea so I talked about that um, it's, the good thing is, is I've been kind of burnt out on the protein shakes I've been having them periodically um, but I don't want to have like one or two a day at this point so I'm trying to get more proteins through my foods and um, I think that's been going well I, I'm hoping that me getting away from proteins, I had like a half a protein shake, a premier protein, it's 30, so I had about 15 grams of protein uh, about an hour ago for, for breakfast, and 
you know, that's good. And I, I think that if I can stay off him for a while, not so much when I get back to him, especially working out and after working out, that um, I'll be able to, I'll like him more. So that's the food. Um, last Sunday, we, as a family, it's kind of our family day on Sundays. We're all off work, me and my wife and my son. We go, we usually go somewhere. Either We just went to San Luis, kind of went shopping, shopped around. Um, I'm wearing smaller clothes now. Um, so, and I have to get more shirts for work. All my work clothes are gone. Uh, all work clothes I can't wear, so I'm gradually having to add more work shirts. So about 20 dress shirts and, and a few suits, no more. So, you know, I'm gradually replacing that. I can't just go out and drop, you know, a grand or two at once. But I, every week I just get a little more. But anyway, we went shopping and um, had a great time. Got out of the house with the family. and um, But before we left and then when I got back, um, she took a couple pictures of me, the wife did. And so I'm going to, and it kind of shows a little bit of my weight loss. So I'm going to post a couple of them right now. So you saw those and, um, you know, I definitely, when I see them in a picture like that, I can see the difference where I look at myself every day. I don't notice the difference, but of course people tell me that I look thinner and you guys notice a difference. Uh, in my avatar a profile picture on YouTube, I did take a picture of my, about a week ago compared to my first video picture that I just pulled pictures from the videos and put them side by side. And you can see uh, quite a bit of a difference. And if you watch the first video versus the newer ones, which maybe you have or have not done, you can really uh, tell a difference just in my body position and uh, and my face and things like that. So so really cool. Then uh, one thing I'm doing a 5K in June. Um, it's something that I kind of knew about already, but for some reason I got back to lunch yesterday at work and this flyer was on my desk about it. Color flyer, you know. I'm not sure if a customer brought it in that I talked to about it. It's for a charity, local charity. Um, I'll I'll post more details as it goes. I don't have it with me in front of me. But that'll be cool. So it's going to give me a chance to get ready for that 5K. I don't plan on using that app or anything like that. I know a lot of you do. I'm just going to, you know, do it old school. Just gradually work my stamina up from elliptical and uh, treadmill. And, and hopefully I'm jogging outside by then. I'm, I haven't jogged outside really yet. But I'm, um, I feel like I'm about 5 or 10 pounds away from really, really jogging. So, so that's good. Um, so that's really it guys today on this update doing well doing great feeling like this is uh this has really been something that i can say has changed my life and it will continue to change my life i'm never going to give up and i'm going to keep fighting at this weight loss journey i know it's not going to be easy and it's going to get harder as it goes maybe in about a year um but i can honestly say that this has given me a second chance at life i have felt in the past that yeah i enjoy life it, um you know i, I somewhat successful you know keeping a job and having a family and doing those things but I almost felt in a way that I had my life part of my life was over and I had I hope my son gets to have a life now and, and the son having a life is true but my life's not over I got I'm 33 years old you know um, I got a lot of life left and this is giving me a second chance at it I'm getting some of the mental thought process back processes back from my earlier in shape days I haven't been overweight my whole life but most of my life but late high school early college I was in great shape and um, just gradually gained weight from there so I have seen both sides of being a chubby kid and being teased to being a very in shape person that that was not something I worried about to gradually gaining weight and as an adult and dealing with um, really um, stereotypes and people judging you people looking at you, people not people thinking you're lazy and that you can't do things and you're not efficient. And I'm sure I've been passed over and not looked at for jobs because of it along the way, even though I've been, no matter my way, a uh, top producer, every job I've had. Um, so this, I mean, even since I've lost the weight, my manager, my boss is even talking about promotions already that are future. And I just, you know, was promoted a few months ago. So for something else, so things, it's, it's too bad that so many people are that materialistic where how you look really says a lot about your character and, and what you can do because that's not true. And I've seen both sides. I've seen chubby in shape, chubby 
heavy adult again, and then now I'm getting back in shape. And I've seen these sides multiple times, and you know I've analyzed it. I wrote a paper my freshman or sophomore year in college about it when I was in the best shape of my life, and um, you know really talking about the differences and the way people treat you, like people look at you from just walking by somebody and smiling. For example, I was at uh, Avila Beach on my day off the other day. I had some time to kill. I went over there and just had a smoothie outside, uh, looking at the ocean on some chairs they had outside the, the cafe. And a girl, beautiful girl walks by with her dog. Walks by, normally I'd be drinking my smoothie. She'd walk by, make a little eye contact, whatever. Uh, this particular time, big smile, how's it going? Basically slowed down to let me pet the dog. And, you know, and I didn't do anything different than I would have at 65 pounds, 70 pounds uh, heavier than I did sitting there. And um, it's too bad that uh, it's too bad that it's like that. But, you know, this is a, this is a tough world. It chew you up and spit you out. And that's that's part of it. So um, but I'm, I'm blessed to have this opportunity. And um, once again, I want to say thank you to all my people that follow me and subscribers. I appreciate you. I wouldn't do this without you guys. Um, everyone have fun in Tampa. You guys are all going to Tampa. I'm on the complete opposite side of the United States on the, on the coast of, of California. So that's just a far trip, uh, this year, at least. Um, I am probably going to the one in LA, which is only a few hours away from me on the drive. Um, in August, it's late, mid to late August. It's for uh, obesity health a conference. So I'm probably going to go with that. Hopefully I can get some guys together that I can, uh, kind of roll out there with. And so we'll see. But um, anyway, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.